again, Miss Baskin here, and welcome back. As I mentioned before, and as you no doubt have been told many times, bringing respect to our classroom is a really important piece to creating a learning environment that's comfortable and supportive for all. It's in how we talk to each other, treat each other, and follow the rules we have in place to keep us safe. When thinking about what respect really looks like, let's discuss what I call the three B's of respect. Bodies, brains, and belongings. If you think about it, almost everything we say and do in life affects one of ours or others three B's. Let's now take a closer look at these three B's of respect and how we can shape these behaviors in action. With regards to our bodies, we can work to sing respect to ours and others' bodies when we eat healthy snacks, exercise our bodies at recess or PE, practice good hygiene, and by sharing space with others by keeping our bodies in the group and using safe hands, as well respecting others' space bubbles, especially in lines and hallways. On the other hand, we can watch for when we sting respect to ours and others' bodies when we invade people's space, or pop their space bubbles, or roll our bodies out of the group during circle time, wandering the classroom, or leaving the room without permission. It might be when we inappropriately touch other people, roughhouse, or carelessly bump into each other in the hallways. With regards to our brains, we can work to sing respect to ours and others' brains when we pay attention by staying plugged into the zone's plan, or when we use effective effort or growth mindset thinking, when we complete our work or ask and answer questions thoughtfully, or when we help classmates to understand assignments and give positive feedback to our peers about their work and efforts, as well when we say kind words and show empathy towards others. On the other hand, we can watch for when we sting respect to ours and others' brains when we are not plugged into the zone's plan, are disconnected and disengaged, have incomplete or missing assignments, show up unprepared for tests, as well when we spread rumors, create drama, or say unkind or hurtful comments to or about others. Lastly, with regards to our belongings, we can work to sing respect to ours and others' belongings when we're being organized, have clean lockers and desks, take care of school supplies like pencils and markers and belongings like coats and backpacks, when we take home and bring back important homework, paperwork, and permission slips, and when we help to keep all the areas of the school clean and clutter-free. And finally, we can watch for when we sting respect to ours and others' belongings when we have disorganized, dirty and overflowing lockers and desks, when we're constantly misplacing or losing school supplies and personal belongings, or when we leave homework and important papers in desks, lockers, buses, and with our dog Benji. It's vandalizing school property, stuffing toilet paper in sinks and toilets, leaving trash on cafeteria tables, or mistreating school supplies, books, and furniture. Now that you've had a chance to think about these three B's of respect, let's take some time to think about what areas you sing and sting respect in your school and in your homes. This is a good activity to do on your own so you can get real honest with yourself about how respectful you really are to yours and others' bodies, brains, and belongings. Remember, we always have the power to shift our behaviors and if there is a place we need to spread a little honey, go for it. I guarantee you, your life will be easier the more you work at singing respect. Okay, my peeps, get doing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.